गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस एक्सरसाइज 7.1 क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सोसी चिल्ड्रन एक्सरसाइज 7.1 क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ए बी सी डी इज द क्वाड्रिलेटरल इन विच ए डी इज इक्वल टू बी सी एंड एंगल डी ए बी इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी बी ए प्रूव दैट फर्स्ट ट्राइंगल ए बी डी कॉन्ग्रू ऑन टू ट्राइंगल बी ए सी सेकेंड बी डी इज इक्वल टू ए सी थर्ड एंगल ए बी डी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी ए सी सो सी जनरल हियर इन अ गुअन क्वेश्चन वन क्वाड्रिलेटरल ए बी सी डी इज गिवन टू अस एंड सी जनरल दिस इज द क्वाड्रिलेटरल ए बी सी डी दिस इज द क्वाड्रिलेटरल ए बी सी डी एंड वॉट गिवन टू अस इन क्वेश्चन ए डी इज इक्वल टू बी सी मीन्स दिस ए डी इज इक्वल टू बी सी गिवन टू अस second word given to us angle dab is equal to angle cba this angle see angle dab means this angle and angle cba means this angle this and this angle both are same that given to us and what we have to prove we have to prove that first triangle abd congruent to triangle bac triangle abd congruent to triangle bac that we have to prove means abd this triangle and bac means this triangle both are congruent to each other that we have to prove next bd is equal to ac see children this bd bd is equal to ac they are also same that we have to prove and second angle abd is equal to angle bac also equal that we have to prove now see children we will solve this question so solution In triangle ABD and triangle BAC, see children. In triangle ABD means this triangle, and triangle BAC means this triangle. First, see AD is equal to BC. In both triangle AD is equal to BC, it is given in question. See AD is equal to BC. So first AD is equal to BC. They are sides, and it is given. They are same for. They are. They have same length. For both triangle ABD and triangle BAC. Second, angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. Angle DAB means this, and angle CBA means this. They are also same, and it is given in question. See, angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. So, angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. They are angles, and it is also given in question. Third, AB is equal to BA. they are sides and it is common sides see ab is equal to ba it is common side for both triangle abd and triangle bac so see children triangle abd this is triangle abd side abk and this is triangle bac see in bac and in, and in triangle abd side ab is common in both triangle abd see abk and triangle bac again abk means ab is equal to ba they are sides and it is common side for both triangle means side ab and side ba both are common side for both triangles so we can write ab is equal to ba so see children here in both triangle triangle abd and triangle bac ad is equal to bc they are sides it is given second angle dab is equal to angle cba they are angles and it is also given in question third ab is equal to ba they are sides and it is common side for both triangle so see children side angle side sas means according to sas criterion rule triangle abd and triangle bac both are congruent to each other so we can write triangle abd congruent to triangle bac according to sas rule now next so first triangle abd congruent to bac we prove second bd is equal to ac see children bd is equal to ac so bd is equal to ac both are same according to cpct what is cpct congruent triangles corresponding parts are equal so bd and ac both are corresponding parts of both triangle and they are equal so bd is equal to ac it is right according to cpct second angle abd equal to angle bac angle abd equal to angle bac it is also they are also equal 
according to CPCT. What is CPCT? Congruent triangle corresponding parts are equal. Congruent triangles corresponding parts are equal. And angle ABD and angle BAC are the corresponding parts of the given triangle. So they are equal. So angle ABD is equal to angle BAC. Both are same with the help of the CPCT. So see children, this is the explanation of exercise 7.1, question number 2. I hope you can understand this. Thank you.